hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session, I'm breaking down a very beginner friendly tune in John Denver's 1971 classic, Take Me Home, Country Roads. So I'm going to take you through the chord progressions and the strumming patterns for the verse, the bridge, and the chorus sections, and you can follow along using my chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Real quick, before we jump into the lesson, I want to introduce you to my good friends down in Virginia, excellent band called Holy Roller, this is their t-shirt. Uh, great band that I'd love for you to check out and support. They're mixing together some old school country vibes with blues, gospel, a bunch of other stuff, and they have really excellent songwriting. So check them out. You can find them on Instagram at Holy Roller VA. That's their handle. Okay, now let's jump into a full demonstration of the tune. I want you to see what you can figure out using your ear and your musical instincts, then jump into the instructional segments. Let's get started. One, two, three, and four, and... Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to the place. I belong in West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. All my memories gather round her, modest lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky Misty taste of moonshine, teardrops in my eyes Country roads, take me home to the place I belong, oh, West Virginia Mountain Mama, take me home country road I hear her voice in the morning as she calls me radio reminds me of my home far away driving down the road I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday yesterday country road take me home to the place I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country roads Country roads Take me home To the place I belong Mountain Mama, take me home, country road, take me home, down country road, take me home, down country road. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. This is just going to be one chord, A major. But this is the opportunity that we're going to get to learn the strumming pattern that we're going to be using throughout the song. An alternating bass pattern. Okay, so it's going to look and sound like this. Okay, so that's the general vibe in terms of rhythm that we're going to have throughout the song. Though sometimes the alternating bass is going to reverse depending upon which chord you're on. Okay, so for the A major chord, we're playing bass, down, up. So that was the A string, and then a down, up on the high strings. Alternate to the low E string open, and then down, up again. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a... Okay, since we're counting this at around 85 BPM, we're going to do that twice. 
alternate twice uh, per measure. One and a two and a three and a four and a, and we're gonna need two measures to get through that intro section. So one and a two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and start your verse. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Okay, if you got that, you're ready to jump into the verse section and start applying that alternating bass pattern. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro section down. Now we're jumping into the verse section. We're taking this line by line, following along using my chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Jumping into line number one, it's gonna sound like this nice and slow. Almost heaven. West Virginia. All right, now don't be afraid of that bar chord shape. I'm gonna give you some tips. So we start off on the A major chord, just to measure, just like we did in the intro section. Bass down, up, E down, up, A down, up, E down, up. Now, transition to the F sharp minor chord. We're gonna start moving on the upstroke, drop the thumb nice and low, take the bony part of the finger, put it right up against the fret, take your ring finger and your pinky, put them on the A string and the D strings, fourth fret. Pull them back with both arms, pushing my chest into the guitar as I squeeze nice and hard to get a nice clear bar chord sound. Okay, on this chord we're going to reverse our alternating bass pattern. Okay, so that's going to be E down up, A down up, E down up, A down up. Okay, that gets you to line number two where we're going to transition to an E major chord and do the exact same strumming pattern. Okay, next we're going to transition to the D major chord for just half a measure, alternating on D string and A string. D down up, A down up, and then return to the A major chord for a full measure. Okay, put those three chords together and you have Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Okay, from there you basically have the rest of the verse down because it's just going to be a repeat verbatim of what we just played, except you're going to shorten the A chord at the end. So, life is older, the F sharp minor, older than the trees, the E chord, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze, just two beats of that A major chord there over breeze, then that'll get you into the chorus section. Okay, let's see if we can play through that entire verse together. A nice slow tempo. One and almost heaven. West Virginia to the E major chord. Blue Ridge Mountains D Shenandoah A is old there, F sharp minor. Then the trees, the E chord, younger than the mountains, D, blowing like the A major, country roads, to get into the chorus section. Okay, excellent work everybody. You have the verse section down, and now we're jumping into the chorus section. I think this part is going to be a breeze for you. In this section, we're going to switch around the chords. We're gonna be playing the progression A major, E major, F sharp minor, and D major. And in terms of music theory, this is one of the most common chord progressions in all of popular music. It's a one, five, six, four progression if you compare the root notes of these chords to the notes that are inside of the major scale in the key of A. So one, five, six, four for the songwriters out there. Okay, we're going to apply the exact same alternating bass strumming pattern to this chord progression. Start off with the A major chord. Country rolls, take me E major to the place F sharp minor. Okay, so we just need to do that twice through all together. So all those chords got a full measure of playing time. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me deep. Country roads, back to the A 
chord, full measure. Then that'll get you into verse number two. All my memories gather round her. So verse number two played identically to verse number one. No difference there. Okay, very well done, everybody. You have the intro, the verse, and the chorus section complete. As I said, after chorus one, we're going to have verse number two. Then following that, we're going to have a repeat of the chorus, so chorus number two. And then after that, we're going to jump into the next section that you need to learn, the bridge section. Okay, moving right along into the bridge section. We're going to be, once again, mixing these chords up. This time we're starting with the minor six chord, F sharp minor. Okay, so taking this line by line, line number one of the bridge is going to sound like this. I hear her voice in the morning as she calls me. Okay, so very simple. We took the F sharp minor, bass, down up, bass, down up. So half a measure there. Then transition to the E major chord, same exact strumming, bass, down up, bass, down up. Then move to the A major chord for a full measure. You know what to do. Okay, now moving on to line number two. We're going to have... Radio reminds me of my home far away. Okay, so that was half a measure of D major, half a measure of A major, one full measure of E major. D down up, A down up, A down up, E down up, E down up, A string down up, E string down up, A string down up. Okay, now let's put lines one and two together now. Getting started with the F sharp minor chord. I hear her voice in the morning hour. She calls me. Radio reminds me of my home. Okay, now transition into line number three. He's going to really switch things up here and throw in an odd chord, G major. Okay, line number three is going to sound like this. Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I... Okay, so F sharp minor chord. We're going to have that for half a measure. Just like we did before. Now, transition to a G major chord. Doesn't really matter which kind you use. It can be this variety of the G chord with the ring finger on the low E string, or it could be this voicing of the G major chord where you're fretting two notes here, the B string third fret and the high E string third fret. Okay, I think on my chord sheet, I'm going for this variety of the G chord that I call useful G because I got this index finger available to myself. Very useful. Okay, so we take the F sharp minor chord, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, the G chord, bass, down, up, D string, down, up. Now transition to the D major chord to finish up this line. Bass, down, up, A string, down, up. You put all that together and we've got Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I Okay, now that'll get you into the fourth and final line of this bridge section. It's gonna sound like this. Should have been home yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, so that was pretty simple. We have the A major chord for half a measure. Bass, down up, bass, down up. Transition to the E major chord for a full measure. Bass, down up, bass, down up, bass, down up, bass, down up. Then we're gonna have basically half a measure of E7 stopping short on the third beat. So for E7, take your ring finger off of the D string and just play bass, down, up, bass, down, up, stop. Okay, covering up the strings, getting a full stop, and that will get you into the final chorus. Okay, let's play through that entire bridge section together now, playing along at a nice slow tempo. I hear her voice in the morning hour she calls me, radio reminds me of my home far away. The F sharp minor again, driving down the G, the feeling that I should have been home yesterday, yesterday. Stop. 
country roads. Okay, very good everybody. Now, we're ready to jump into the end of the song and I'll show you how you can close up shop. Okay, finishing up the tune, we're gonna have chorus number three. It's basically the exact same thing that you've played in the other choruses, except it's gonna repeat two times. That's gonna get you into the coda section, which is very, very simple. It's just gonna sound like this, going back and forth between E major and A major. Take me home, country road. Take me, E major, down country roads. Now right here, we're gonna put in a nice classic end in. Country road. Okay, so very, very simple. We had the E major for measure. E down of A down of E down of country, A major chord. All right, repeat the E chord again. And then back to the A major chord, we're going to play. One, two, and an A, E, A. Okay, for a very kind of easy way of ending this song and thousands of other kinds of country songs. Okay, congratulations everybody. You have the intro, you have the verse, you have the chorus, you have the bridge sections. You're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this song tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.